Okay, welcome. Welcome and thank you for joining and purchasing the Canva Mastery Bible. I am so excited for you guys to get started. So excited for you guys to explore what's in this course or Bible, whatever you want to call it. Um, it took a lot of time to put together, but I really think it's going to help you guys uh, on your Canva journey and really cut out a lot of the noise of what you hear out there on, on how to do this or how to do that on Canva. I've really streamlined this for you guys, and, and I'm, I'm really proud of what we built here. And really, it's just the beginning. Um, it, it's going to be uh, an evolving uh, resource for you guys, but it's already loaded with information and resources and tips and tricks. And um, on this video, I kind of want to say... Um, Thank you again, but I also want to run through the different sections and kind of give you an idea of what you can expect um, with everything that's included in this uh, in this resource here. So if you're watching this video, you obviously already got uh, access to the Canva Mastery Bible. You found your way to the uh, Mastery Lessons here, and you're at the Start Here section, which is great. Um, but on the first tab, it's going to be a little bit of information about myself and what you can kind of expect with this um, resource and, and what comes with it, as well as my email address. If you guys ever have questions, feel free to reach out. Um, I'll let you guys read this over at your own pace. It just kind of tells you who I am and uh, what's included in uh, in this Canva Mastery Bible, which we're going to go over uh, right now. So the second tab here is the update section. Obviously, the course is just now going live. If you're seeing this, so all updates will have you know will be posted in this update section, as well as the date added, what kind of content it was, and the content subject. Um, and yeah, you'll see that all here once start stuff starts flowing in. Um, this is where you can find it. The next section is the actual lessons, the Canva Mastery lessons. You probably saw this already if you got to the to this video. Um, you can see here we have over 40 lessons, um, some planned out. I haven't even listed the rest of the planned out lessons. This is going to be, again, a growing and, and evolving resource. Um, but I wanted to get you guys the hard-hitting stuff first um, because if you if you could learn this for these first 30 or 40 uh, uh, lessons here, you're going to be in a very good spot and going forward, everything else is just going to be, um, you know, more tools in your tool belt um, when it comes to learning on Canva. Uh, so here you'll see all the different lessons, their titles and then the uh, video links to them. So when you when you click on one of the links, it'll bring you right to the uh, the Loom video. And then this is just the library of all the videos that we have. Uh, but you guys don't have to worry about this part right here. You just all you'll have to do is click the link and it'll bring you right to that video. Um, I also have here listed that my personal uh, opinion on the impact that each of these lessons will have in your, you know, Canva mastery journey, uh, 10 being the highest. And it looks like we don't have any ones, which is good. So everything here is useful. Um, but yes, so it's up to you how you want to go about learning these lessons. You could go in order from top to bottom. You could start with the most important ones first. Um, but you will hear me referencing uh, different videos uh, within, you know, lessons themselves. So you might hear me on the, uh, let's just say the, um, you know, resizing your project lesson. You know, you may hear me mention something about templates or in another video or, you know, so there may be hints at other videos um, within the lessons themselves. So I would uh, I would definitely go through all of them because they're all very useful. But it's up to you if you want to start from the top and go to the bottom. Or let's say you have a lot of uh, problems with resizing. You know, that's one of your your weak points. OK, well, you could start there. It's totally up to you. Um and then up here is going to be the link to the written lessons for those of you who either like to um, learn more of in a written format or just want to use it as supplementation to the videos. I, again, would go through all of them. There's even uh, lessons, I believe, in the written document that may not even have videos yet. So if you want to get a head start on some of those lessons, you're free to do that as well. And then the and also a note, it may take a few seconds to load. It's kind of a long document. So um if it doesn't pop up right away, give it a second and then it'll load. It's actually within Canva, but it's one of the Canva docs. So just give it a second to load. Um, and then the second thing here is the Canva, Canva exam example templates from the video lesson. So what that means is all of the examples that I show in all of these different videos, um, they're going to be, you know, I, I teach them using templates that I found on Canva. And you'll see when you click that link, it's going to bring you to this uh, file here where it's got all of the different templates from the lessons. So if you see me do something on lesson seven and it corresponds with this template, you could do the exact technique I'm doing on the exact template I showed it on. Um, 
So it's kind of like a hands-on project where you get the video lesson, you get the template, and you can go ahead and, and, and copy everything I'm doing right on the exact template that I showed you on, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think that's it for here. That's the mastery lessons resources. Okay. This is again, going to be an area that's growing, but this is some of my, uh, just my top used resources that I use pretty much on a daily basis basis when I'm uh, creating Canva. So we have a few different sections here. First one being font pairing websites, color combination websites, stock images, um, icons, mock-up tools, photo editing tools, design inspiration, uh, and then other resources. So again, this is going to be growing as well. You have the links to everything, the prices, if it's not free, some additional notes, and then I may even fill out the impact as well. But this is going to be subjective to, to each person. So um, definitely go through these. But you know, you're going to learn in um, the lessons that Canva has a lot of options for most of these resources that I provide, like color palettes and, and obviously fonts. But it's for those advanced users that say, hey, there's something that's not in Canva that I kind of want. Uh, you know, I want to take my designs to the next level. Well, those resources will help you do that, especially when it comes to mock-ups, fonts. Um, there's some really cool color um, color palette websites out there and just some other miscellaneous tools that I've listed for you guys. Um, so definitely take a look at that design inspiration. Um, this is where you'll have access to the swipe file with all the 160 plus designs that I mentioned to you guys. Um, probably my, uh, favorite part of this course, honestly, because this took me, I don't know, years to, I just went through my phone and looked at all the different ads and graphics and stuff that I screenshot. And this is only from the last maybe, um, year or so. So there's still, again, there's 160 graphics here now, but this is going to be another section that's growing, um, all the time. And, and you'll see there's stuff from some of the biggest brands in the world. There's Apple graphics here, right? So if you guys want to use these as inspiration, use them as practice, you know, pull them up on side of the next to your Canva, uh, document and you want to kind of try and recreate some of these, it's a great way to practice. It's a great way to get inspiration. Um, and yeah, it's all in one place where you could download them here if you'd like, or you could just uh, pull them up and, and, and view them one at a time. Uh, but I, I love this. This is definitely something I wish I had. Um, when I first started learning in Canva, because if you can, if you can design, you know, most of these, forget it, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be making amazing designs in Canva in no time. Um, so, and then the next tab here is shortcuts. So here's where I have all the shortcuts on Canva listed out. And again, another, you know, impact section of which ones I think are most important. Honestly, you'll hear it in the uh, shortcut section in, in, you know, in the mastery lesson section, I have a whole lesson on shortcuts. Uh, don't get overwhelmed. I know this is a lot. There's like almost a hundred line items here. I don't know all of these shortcuts. Let's make that very clear. You know, I, I really recommend picking out a few, mastering those and, and building off from that. But there's a lesson for that. So don't worry about that too much. I just uh, want to show you this page here and how to get to it. The main thing I want to um, go over with you guys here is the fact that you should be using these lessons to build on each other, right? You should be using all these resources to build on each other. This is a, this is a, uh, you know, a learning experience. There's a lot you're going to be able to take away right from the beginning and you're going to be able to make improvements on day one, but you're not going to become a, a, a master. I'm not a master at Canva. You know, I, I'm, I consider myself, you know, maybe top 1%, but I'm still learning, you know, um, and I think you guys as well will, will see once you start watching these videos and practicing these lessons, they're going to be uh, skills and tools that build on themselves. So once you really learn how to, you know, uh, get, you get positioning and grouping, you know, in your Canva designs mastered, well, then it's something you don't have to think about. It's, it's just a tool in your arsenal. And then you can move on to these other sections. And before you know it, you're going to have so many skills at your disposal that are going to, you know, carry you forward for years to come when it comes to graphic design. And the beauty about it is a lot of this stuff, um, you know, if you decide one day, hey, I want to move on to Photoshop or Figma or something, a lot of this stuff will carry on in terms of, you know, design principles and stuff like that. So it's it's really important that you guys use these lessons and, and build on top of them. And they're going to compound and you'll see they'll snowball. By the time you, you know, you get halfway down this list and you've really mastered half of these lessons, you're going to be amazed at how much quicker you're designing and how much more efficient you are and how, mo how much better your designs are coming out. So... I really want you guys to, to, you know, watch the videos more than once. Take notes if you have to. Read the written section of the of the lesson and really absorb as much as you can. Practice that one lesson. Practice that one skill, and then let these skills build on top of each other and just kind of get one percent better every day. You know, and then you know you'll look back in a couple months and you'll be like, wow, 
you know, I really learned a lot and these skills have really, really snowballed on top of each other. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot more efficient now. And another great thing about these lessons is they're quick hitting. I've bought courses before where each video is 20 or 30 minutes long and the course ends up being five, six, seven, ten 10 hours long. No one's ever going to finish one of those and let alone absorb every word of, of those hours of, of lessons. So my whole goal with this, um, with this project is to give you quick hitting lessons, quick hitting videos. Most of them are two minutes long, three minutes long. There may be the occasional one that's five, 10 minutes long, but my goal is not to flood you guys with so much that you can't absorb it. They're quick hitting. I've given you a video example, a written lesson. And then not only that, you can practice on the exact template I showed on. So it's all one cohesive place where you can learn these lessons, practice them, and then, you know, move on to the next one and not spend an hour, two hours, you know, just getting through, a, you know, one video series and one, one subject matter, you know, it's quick hitting. They're to the point. You could tell when, when you go through these videos, I'm going to say, um, a lot, and they're just off the cuff. You know, they're, they're, I'm not rehearsing any of these. They're just, I show you exactly how I use these techniques every day. I don't have written notes on these. I fired, you know, exactly what was off the top of my head and what I thought would be most useful to you guys, instead of sitting there with a page long transcript and, and, you know, just wasting your time. So, Guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on social media, email me. Um, I'm always here to answer your questions. And I just want to say thank you again. Um, I think you guys are going to get a lot of value from this. Um, and I'm excited to see where we go with it because this is, again, like I said, this is just the beginning. And I hope you um, really get value out of this. And thank you guys. Thanks again. Enjoy.